Happy New Year, everybody, and welcome to my first haul video of 2014. Hopefully, it won't be the last. This is a thrifting haul video, and it's from my shopping spree on New Year's Day, where I spent a whopping $7.50 for 30 items. So I wanted to show you what I was able to find. Okay, let's start with two dresses. I was able to find this really cute uh, black lounge dress. Um, it's from White Stag, so it came from Walmart, but it's just a cute basic black dress that I can wear with a cardigan or lots of things during the summer. This one is an L brand tie dye dress. It has a cute lace detail in the back and this one is um, sold at Kohl's. So that was a pretty good find. Okay, so sweaters, which is great for this time of year. I found quite a few. This one is an Anna's brand. This one is sold at JCPenney's. This is more of a sweater dress. Um, so I'll be able to wear it with cute tights or with leggings. Um, this has also a sparkly metallic um, thread running through it. I don't know if you can see that, but that makes it really cute and nice for the holidays. Then we've got two that are from the White Stag brand, which means that they... Oh no, this one's Faded Glory, and this one's White Stag. So they both came from Walmart. This is like a teal green sweater. Um, I love this color. And this one is a traditional Kelly green, Christmas green sweater that I'll be able to wear with a lot of things. Then I found this one, which I love the detail on. This is from Ann Taylor Loft. It's a medium. It's got these um, big, what are they called? Butterfly sleeves, bat sleeves. And they've got these cute little button detail in the back. It's really sheer, so I'll be able to wear it in the summer um, as well as throughout the year. And then I found this really cute sweater for summer. It's a tangerine orange sheer sweater, so I'll have to wear something underneath. It's from JW Style. I've never heard of that, but I love the color. I hope it doesn't show up weird on the camera. But it's a long, I think with white capris or jeans during the summer, I think it would be real cute. Then I got this cardigan, and I think it might be a little bit too small now that I've washed it and really taken a look at it. It's from Sinclair. It has a European size on it. I'm really not sure where it comes from, but I absolutely love the color. Um, but I love the ruffle detail at the bottom as well. And then last but not least, a uh, cardigan from Worthington. I love apple green. It's one of my favorite colors, and it's just a cardigan. This one is an extra large, so it might be a little bit big, but I really love the color, so I had to pick it up. Okay, so some regular shirts that I'll be able to wear all year round. This is just a great shirt that I could probably wear under a, a black cardigan or a black blazer. It's just a leopard print tank top. This one is a New York and Company uh, magenta colored sweater with the rouging on the sides. I love rouging. They're very forgiving. This one is a really cute shirt from Chow Sports. I believe this is sold at Dillard's. And so I think this is a really cute active wear shirt for working out or riding my bike or just with jeans. I think it's cute. This one is just a typical black empire waisted shirt. I love this material. Um, it's very forgiving. Somebody put a little safety pin there and I haven't taken it off yet. Um, but I think that this would go with a lot of things. And then this is one of these really blousey shirts and it's gathered at the bottom. Um, I really like these shirts to wear with jeans, so I'm wondering how that will look, but I think it'll be cute. And then I found two identical style shirts, but two different prints, and these are from Nicole Miller, New York. I'm not sure if this is the line that she sells at JCPenney's, but I love the colors and I love the prints, and I'll be able to wear this with a lot of things. So I thought that was a great score. So I also found some really great collar shirts for work. Um, I'm really into vintage looking things. I don't know if any of these are vintage, but I love them. This is a black ruffled collar shirt, and it has these two long lapels. I'm not really sure if you're supposed to tie them or just let them linger. And then they also have the ruffle on the sleeve. Love this shirt. This shirt is actually a rerun. I have this shirt in a medium, and I found it in a large. And I love this shirt so much. It reminds me of a print that Michael Kors used last fall. And I just had to have it again. Just in case the other one doesn't work out 
or if I gain weight or lose weight, now I have a backup. This one is very strange. I just love the print. I don't know if you can see it. They're like crosses. And it's like a gold navy blue on like a taupe background. It's 100% silk. It's from a company called Paul Stanley. I don't know if that's the guy from Kiss or not, but cool shirt anyways. I thought this would look really cool with jeans. I'm not really sure what it's going to look like, but I thought I'd give it a try because I really like the print. And this is from Miss Selfridge. If anybody watches that PBS show, Mr. Selfridge, there's like a department store in England. Well, this is like their junior line. They also have um, some stores that are like separate from the department store called Miss Selfridge. And I saw the name before I really took a look at it. It's really huge oversized button up shirt. Love the print, thought it would look cute with jean leggings. And so I picked it up mostly for the label. And this is just a basic tailored jean shirt from County Seat. I don't really know where that's from, but you can never go wrong with denim. So this is a really nice fitted denim shirt and I figured I would get a lot of use out of it. So I wasn't completely selfish. I did spend a whopping dollar on my husband and I was able to find him a couple of really great finds. I'm not sure if he likes this color, but I'm gonna make him wear it anyways. It is a turquoise Izod sweater, V-neck sweater. Let me see if I can get the glare off of it. There you go. I just think it's really cute and if he doesn't want it, I'll wear it. The other thing I found for him was a vintage silk shirt. It is, that's the name of the brand, Vintage Silk. I believe these are sold at Burlington. That's the only place I could find it online. Um, I just love shirts like this. This one's also a nice one for him to wear. Nice pattern. It's from Hagar, and the best thing about it is I don't have to iron it. And then I got him a Lollapalooza t-shirt. It's a recent Lollapalooza shirt, and apparently they didn't sell very many of them because the thrift store had tons, like stacks, of Lollapalooza shirts. So I got him a black one. They had other colors there as well, but I figured maybe he would like it. And I did get one fun thing for myself. I got some pajama bottoms, and they are Jack Daniel pajama bottoms. So you can't go wrong with these, just for around the house. I thought they were cute. Okay, one more thing. I was also able to find four pairs of shoes. Here's a pair of white peep toe maripe leather shoes. Then I got two pairs of Nine West high heels. Uh, one is patent and one is just regular leather. And a pair of silver open toe shoes from Massimo from Target. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think. And I love to know and hear about your finds too. So please comment below and like me on all those other social media things that will be listed below where we can stay in touch. Bye!